Hello, Grok the Duck Farmer here with a modded Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to talk about two different mods, uh, Applied Energistics 2 with Enter, Enter IO to help make it work better. I love AE2. It allows me to store items in a very compact space with the ME network, but it takes a lot of work to produce the, the various drives and that requires the inscriber to make the various processors that are necessary. Uh, for one 64K drive, you need four of the diamond processors, nine of the gold, and you also need 27 of the Certus processors. <clears throat> That's a lot of processors. Let's make this much simpler by learning how to easily automate these. <clears throat> What we have here is my setup for automating the inscribers to make this process much easier to do. And it's something that I've looked around on YouTube and other places and I've not seen anybody that has the same setup, the same combination of Ender IO conduits and the inscribers to make this a, a, an easier process. So let's go ahead and, and proceed to make one of these. Uh, what we have here on the left is the actual inscriber bits and on to the right, ME network that uh, with a processor uh, done at the bottom so we can do some crafting with it. And also we have here in this chest, the things that we need to build this. Uh, we'll need a little bit of glass cable, the ME interface, five inscribers, yes five, one for each of the four presses here, and a fifth one to combine all the, the pieces together. A charger, which really isn't necessary for this, but if you want to automate making charged Certus Quartz, we can certainly do that. A uh, simple chest, uh, eight blank patterns. All of these items here, you would have need these anyway if you're going to set up a, an ME network with the auto crafting using the AE2 bits, but if we're going to do it my way, we'll just need a few extra bits, which would be the item conduits, 19 of them, and 11 basic item filters so that the right things go in the right place. Let's go ahead and grab these and then we'll go ahead and build this uh, together so you can see exactly how this is done. I've grabbed the items out of the chest, plus I also picked up a, a few additional bits that we'll need for actually inscribing, so we're ready to begin. Uh, over here on the right we have the same beginning network piece, so we'll go ahead and start by tossing on here the glass cable. Alright, and on top of that let's go ahead and put the interface from here, and it really doesn't matter right or left, up or down. You know, how you want to set these up. I'm going to put the four on this side and the fifth over here. You know, we could we could go ahead and have them all together on the same side. Really doesn't matter. It also doesn't matter the, the direction it's pointing. But that's our setup. These we're going to have the individual presses. So let's go ahead and put them in. I put them in in alphabetical order. So there's the calculation press and that uses the pure certus and you can see it's started uh, one of the things that's interesting, as I plus this in, let me tell you, we have no power co cables attached to these inscribers, but they're working because they're receiving the power through the ME interface and just passed along. So you don't need to have a ton of cables powering all these up. It just works. All right, we have all four of these in place. They have all worked. We know that these presses have the are in the correct inscribers for the each items so we're good let's go ahead and put a chest on top here and we are pretty much there let's grab our item conduits and our basic filters uh, first let's go ahead and get the output for these uh, inscribers so we're gonna go ahead and just slap them across here and we need to modify the settings on these. I uh, could use a wrench, but I'm just going to do this manually so you can see what I'm doing. This needs to be an insert because the items are going into 
the, ins the interface here. And then each of these, by default, the extraction wants a redstone signal. We don't. We'll go ahead and let it uh, be active without. And we just modify that with each. And done. It should automatically pull the bits out. Notice that the, uh, the, the, the pieces are gone. And if we take a look at our system, all these printed bits are into the ME network. It's already done. It's working. So that's the pulling out. But we want to put the items into the, the inscribers. So we're going to do that on the back. So here we just go ahead and slap on some more of these conduits. And in this case, where it's going to the top, we don't want that there. So I'm going to disable that piece and we need to make some modifications to the way this works. We could leave it green for the channel, but I actually prefer to, to change the color on this. So we're gonna go ahead with blue, just because I want to. These all need to be modified so that they are inserting, and again, are blue. And we'll just do these real quick. Insert blue and insert and blue. So when items are placed into the chest, the blue channel will take them and put them into the inscribers. But we won't we don't want just willy-nilly items thrown in there. We need to tell it what to do. And to do that, we can use these basic item filters. We only need four items to be going into these inscribers because that's all we have. So we'll just put one of each of the items that get pressed into the item filter and if you noticed these are copies of the items they it doesn't actually consume one of these in the uh, item filter so from the chest if it's one of these four items it will be picked up by this uh, item conduit and passed on through now we need to teach these ones what to use and what to expect to pick up this one gets the certus and this one gets the diamond. First we get the filter, that gets a gold, and this last one, it gets the silicon. Alright, so if we have done this correctly, as we place items into the chest, Oh, you can see them just disappearing. They will get automatically grabbed by this conduit, tossed into the correct inscribers, and then when they're done, they get picked up and tossed into the interface, which feeds it back into the network. And if we check, there should be, yep, two of each produced. Done, we've already tested that and verified that that works. So we're mostly there. Now we need to fix this so that the completed parts will be picked up by the chest and put into the, the final inscriber. So let's grab our conduits again. And here we are just going to put them around on top, bottom, and side. That will do. Now, uh, again, we need to modify these so they will work right. Let's go ahead and set this to extract without a signal. This one, I'm going to go ahead and choose the red channel. It's not necessary, but I, I like having it to, to see the difference. This one is going to insert, and these two also need to be set to insert. And again, whoops, red channel. And this last one here. Let's go ahead and insert on the red channel. All right. As the items are picked out of the chest through the red channel, we're fed in and we're good. Let's pick up some of these items because we need these finished process, processed bits because that's what we're looking for. All right, so we need to have the item filter here looking for the parts and we are looking for these four crafted bits and redstone just so happens all we need is five and that's as much as the basic will hold uh, we could have an advanced item filter which would hold 10 but we don't need that many so we can spare the cost for that this item filter is getting each of these circuits and we'll place them right in those go into the top 
here on the side, we're going to get the redstone, and on the bottom we're going to put the silicon. It will actually work if you have the silicon and redstone reversed, it really doesn't matter, but you do need the, the circuits on the top. So if this is going to work, let's toss in some of these bits and we'll do a gold one first. The last piece we need is to pull this out and put it back into the interface. Requires one more conduit. Let's go ahead and set it to extract without a signal. And if we check, it's already gone. It's into the system. And sure enough, there's our logic processor. Done. So at this point, all of the inscribers are pulling the, the data, uh, the information that they have inside that's been created and dumping it back into the system. We can do the optional charger bit, and oh, not that one, yep, I'm going to show you all my mistakes, here we go, we're going to put the charger here, it needs to be powered from the bottom or top, in this case we're doing the bottom, and we're going to have this to suck the stuff out, uh, first we're going to extract from this chest, Again, no signal, and because it's a service quartz, I'm going to use the light blue color. This you do need to have a color here, because otherwise you'd get a conflict with this. And so we're going to insert, and again, we'll go to the light blue. I can use a, a wrench and I can separate this connection, but I'm ignoring wrenches for right now. And now we need the item conduit, or the, not the item conduit, we need the filter so that a Certus Quartz can go in. And if it does, it'll go in, get charged, and then automatically get sucked out if we edit this real quick and make sure it happens without a redstone signal. Let's test this. Now let's put two in. It already grabbed one. You can see it's going in here as soon as it's charged and there's a slight color change, it'll get picked up. up there went. Yep, the other one, the second one was really fast. That went ahead and did that already, and we have our two charged Certus Quartz in there. It's that easy. At this point, this is done. We have it set up so that we can just drop in the, the pieces that we need, and it will go ahead and create them for us. That's, that's pretty quick. Uh, since we want to actually automate all this, let's go ahead and do two more of the silicon balls and then we'll go ahead and, and press out the rest of these circuits. I need the results, two of these, and toss those in. At this point we do a quick look. It's processing, that's the Certus, and now comes the diamond, yep, and we're good to go. All right, we at this point are ready to set up the, the, the crafting so that uh, the, the system will automatically create these. And I just realized we have a basic item filter extra. We don't need it. All right, let's go ahead and start the, the crafting. Well, our main part is done. We have uh, the, the, the inscribers fitted up, but we need to to use a lot of them. So if we're going to create, for example, a 64K drive, we're going to need 27 of these calculation processors, four of the engineering, and nine of the logic. That's a lot of processing. That's too much to want to do by hand. So let's go ahead and use some patterns to teach the system to, to make this for us. To do this right with the pattern terminal, we want to make sure that we are set to processing patterns as opposed to crafting patterns. And you can tell the difference because we've got one or three options here. We want the three. And let's teach it how to make the various parts. So we're going to start with a pure Certus crystal. We'll make the printed calculation. And that's what we need. And you can see if you hit the shift key what the pattern holds. So we're good there. Let's do the printed engineering, and that needs a diamond. Let's make that pattern. 
and then we'll do that with the gold all right and then we need to do the the same thing you can clear or you can just drop stuff in for the printed silicon there we go there's our four main pieces and then we need to teach how to use these so if we start with that circuit plus a redstone and one of these printed silicons that will yield us the calculation processor looks good let's go ahead and drop that in and we need to repeat that for the rest of these diamond to diamond yep just making sure that we've got them correct and then finally we'll do that for gold nope nope not gold we want the printed logic there we go and then finally we were talking about charging up some certus so we can take a plain certus crystal and that will yield us a single charged certus and there we go we can clear that and let's drop these into the interface and there they are from before when I made a mistake and the, the system didn't actually work because my video wasn't processed and there we have our patterns in place we're good to go and if we come back to here I like changing my pattern terminal to show just the craftable recipes and there they all are and so we can tell it uh, let's since we're going to need 27 of them let's go ahead and start the process there's all the items we've got start take a look at the chest it's feeding in the stuff and it's starting to print everything up pretty cool and if we take a look at our crafting terminal I have it set to both stored and craftable and you can see it is beginning to process the things through we had one originally up oh, there's went from two to three it's working at this point we have a working inscriber set that will allow us through our ME ne network and the, the crafting properties it has to just automatically process the items through as we need it and you can create additional patterns to teach it how to make the the 1k 4k 16 and 64k uh, components for your drives or any other uh, process that you need and you can take this and build to your heart's content Hopefully this has been helpful for you. Uh, this is Gruck the Duck Farmer, and this has been my first Minecraft modded tutorial. Bye!